I think all of us would agree that we want to see God one day. Uh, you know, you ask any of us, you know, do you want to go to heaven? Do you want to spend eternity with God in heaven? Do you want to see God? Do you want to see Jesus? And the answer is definitely yes. That is what we want. That is what we should be longing for, to be able to see God, to be able to be with God. Well, notice Matthew chapter 5, verse 8, one of the Beatitudes that Jesus gave. He talks about those who are going to see God. And notice he says in Matthew chapter 5, verse 8, Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. Imagining, getting to see God. But Jesus says if we want to see God, if we want to spend eternity with God in heaven, then we're going to have to be pure in heart, purifying our hearts. And that's only possible through Jesus and through God's grace and through God's word and living with a pure heart, striving to, to keep sin out of our life. I mean, what, what's, we got to examine what's, what's in our hearts, what's coming out of our hearts. And our words, our actions, our thoughts, our attitudes, are, is it pure? Is it holy? Or are my words and actions and attitudes and thoughts that I'm active in, are they impure? Are they unholy? Am I defiling my heart with the sins of this world? Or am I striving to live a pure in holy life. The Hebrews writer also said in Hebrews chapter 13, in Hebrews chapter 13, or actually the correction may be chapter 12, the thinking off the top of my head, even the Hebrews writer said that without holiness, without purity, no one is going to see God. And so if we truly long to be in heaven, see the thing is, you again, you ask anybody and everybody, do you want to go to heaven? And the answer is yes. But then you ask how many people actually want to live the kind of life God calls us to. How many people actually are willing to acknowledge they're lost without God, repent of their sins, come to God in faith, be baptized into Christ, live a life that is pleasing to God, well, not so many people want to do that. And maybe even any of us, if we're not careful in any given day. But what we've got to do is strive to be pure in heart, keeping the things of this world out of our heart, out of our lives, and making sure that we're filling our hearts and minds with God, with His holiness, with His purity, and His love, and His grace. We're going to need grace for sure. But we've got to be living for God so that one day we will be among those who will get to see God and spend eternity with him. Think about that today. Examine, let's examine our hearts and let's have that longing to see God and then strive to be pure in heart. God bless.